Each row in a stack of logs has one more log than the row above. The diagram displays the tallest possible stack that can be made with nine logs. In a stack with a total of 3,002 logs, what is the largest number of rows possible? The question states that each row has one more log than the row above. We are trying to calculate the largest number of rows possible in a stack with 3,002 logs. An arithmetic series is the sum of a set of numbers where the difference between the consecutive terms is constant, meaning the difference between adjacent numbers are the same. The sum of the logs in this stack is an arithmetic series as the logs in each row increase by one each time. To calculate the sum of this arithmetic series, we have to use the arithmetic sum formula, which states that to find the sum, we add the first term and the last term, and we multiply that by the number of terms in the series divided by two. For example, the arithmetic series one plus two plus three plus all the way to plus 10. To calculate the sum of this, we add the first term which is one, and the last term which is 10, and we times that by 10 over two which is 11 times 5, and that equals to 55. For this question, let n equal the number of logs in the last row. 2 plus 3 plus all the way to plus n equals to 3002. Since the stack of logs starts with 2 logs, then 3 logs, and so on, we have to add 1 to both sides to make an arithmetic series. So therefore, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the way to plus n equals to 3003. Then we have to apply the arithmetic sum formula. So one plus n times n over two equals to 3003, where one is the first term, n is the last term, and n is also the number of terms in this series. Then to simplify this, we times two on both sides to get n brackets n plus one equals to 6006 n and n plus 1 are two consecutive numbers and they multiply to give 6006. To figure out what n is, we have to test the products of two numbers. 70 times 70 is 4900 and 80 times 80 is 6400. This means that these two consecutive numbers must be in between 70 and 80. So we have to think of what two consecutive numbers multiply to give a result that ends in 6. 2 times 3 and 7 times 8 both give a result that ends in 6. So we have to test both. 72 times 73 is 5,256, which is too small. So we test 77 times 78, which equals to 6,006. And that means that n is 77. Let x equal the largest possible number of rows in the stack. x must be 77 minus 1 because the top row of logs originally started with 2 logs, not 1. So therefore, the largest number of rows possible in a stack with 3,002 logs is 77 minus 1, which equals to 76 rows.